it's quite difficult to maintain a large data set adding everything manually. You can automate these data entries to solve it. Apart from being a time saver, it will also help you to avoid typing the same data again and again. Hello there, this is Farihat Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA related answers. Here we will discuss two methods using a data set of fruits along with their prices. We will discuss how to automate data entry in Excel here using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In this method, we will use the data validation tool to automate data entry. For that, let's select the fruit range first. Select B5 to B8 and go to the name box beside the formula bar and rename it with fruit enter now we would like to rename both fruits and price together let's select b5 to c8 and rename it with fruit underscore price press enter for naming a range space is not accepted as a result, we have used underscore here. Now, let's select B11 to B14. Here, we will use the drop-down menus. Now, go to the Data tab and from the Data Tools group, select Data Validation. From the Allow drop-down menu, we can see that Data Validation can access a lot of features in Excel like Decimal, Date, Time, etc. Here, we are going to work along with fruit and price list. So let's go along with list. And the source is equal fruit. Notice that names are case insensitive. As a result, even if we don't follow the case exactly as the name, it will get us the range. Okay. Now you can see that the options represent the fruit range, which is B5 to B8. Let's select all of them. Now, we want to get the prices for corresponding products. Here, in C11, we will use the lookup function. Let's try the formula first. Now, our lookup value will be same as our selection in cell B11. Here, lookup vector or array is from where we want to look for. So, here our range is fruit price. You can see from the suggestion that fruit price is already showing. Tab, closing parenthesis, enter. Now for rest of the products, we can just use fill handle or we can just double click on the bottom right corner. There you go. Looking closely, we can see that price for mango is $280 and our resultant value is $250. And for avocado, the price is $230, but our result from lookup function shows the result $250. So it's an error, right? Let's try to solve it. Click on our source data set, which is B5 to C8. Go to Home tab and from the editing group, click on sort filter and sort A to Z. Now we can see that the values for mango and avocado is showing properly. So we can say that it is a major drawback for lookup function that it can't work out with an unsorted data set. Now sorting your data set every time you want to work on is quite troublesome. If you don't want to go through the hassle, then you can try the VLOOKUP function. Let's try it. Undo the sorting. Now here, let's remove the previous values and here try VLOOKUP. Tab. Our lookup value is apple, which is B11, comma. That brings us to table array. Our table array is the array where we want to look the value we added for lookup value, which is this selection or our name range fruit price tab. Now for column index, we need to get the column number where we want to get the outcome for. Now we can see our selection has two columns and price is the second. Since price is the value we want in this column, 
So let's go along with 2 as column index. Now for exact match, we will go along with false. Tap closing parenthesis, enter. Let's double click on the bottom right corner. And we can see that mango and avocado values are exactly as our source sheet. We didn't even need to sort. So VLOOKUP function can be considered as a weapon to overcome the sorting limitation of the lookup function. In this method, we will add a table to automate data entries. For that, let's select the range first, B4 to C9. Now to insert table, go to insert tab. From the tables group, you can select the table. Or we can go along with Ctrl T. Let's try the shortcut. Ctrl T. Now you can see that our range is already selected. Make sure to check this box so that our first row from the selection is added as column headers. Okay. You can see that the selection is converted into a table and we get a new tab for table designing. Now let's try to insert right click on the 8th row and here select insert from the context menu. Let's type cherry and our price is say $200. You can see that our total is updated instantly. So we can see how easy it is to automate data entry in Excel. From these two methods, you can use any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to automate data entry in Excel in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.